Derby had two 16-year-olds in their midfield, but there was going to be only one hero emerging from this game. Brazilian Junior also tried to grab a headline, but the star of the show was hardly going to be bothered by that. The rest of the Sunderland team must have known what was ahead for the great man, tackling with determination in front of him, not wanting to burden their keeper with unnecessary work. Derby wasting their time from that distance. In the second half, Poon did have to chuck himself around once or twice, but his massive frame had everything covered if Ian Taylor had hit the target. Now, Poon must have realised his teammates at the other end could do with a bit of help. John Oster knocked in a decent ball, but Kevin Carl and Marcus Stewart between them couldn't get a breakthrough. Of course, the Estonian international had spent six happy years at Derby and was still a bit of a fan's favourite. Junior's shot was successfully dealt with. Poon's successor in the Derby goal wanted to show the job was in safe hands when Paul Furwell hit a strong drive and if Oates was up to scratch. Then in the last minute it looked like Poon's return was ruined. Simon Valkari's corner bundled in by Ian Taylor. But Mark Poon wasn't going to take this lying down. One minute of stoppage time, Sean Thornton's corner and Poon! What a header! Pick that one out, the goal of a lifetime. Any centre forward you can think of would struggle to score a better goal than that. He took off, and no girly dancing and kissing afterwards, just straight back to his own patch. Having shown a lot of them, that is the way to do it. 1-1, job done. In Sunderland for Radio Newcastle this season. You have to stay to the end at Sunderland matches these days, Gary, don't you? You do indeed. I said um, the game against Crystal Palace, you know, we let in an equaliser, and um, we have to wait till injury time and scored a penalty but as I say yesterday well you couldn't write the script really you'd have been proud of that header wouldn't you oh gosh <laughs> wouldn't I just say as a thumping header um, as I said it was in injury time we conceded a goal in the 89th minute and um, we forced a couple of corners and Thornton to put the ball down and then he's just played it into the area and um, boom nobody knew that he came up even the Sunderland <laughs> players didn't know that he came up and he was like Superman he's come <laughs> flying out of the air and it was a thumping header let's take a look at it you said you had to be there Obviously, you were. You yeah, were. I said, everybody, you know, even the Derby supporters, you know, um, applauded. It was a thumping header, it was a great goal. He didn't know what to do when he scored either, did he? That's right, he didn't. You know, he just wanted to get back get back into goal, really. They're all trying to catch know? him there. But as I said, you know, the height he got up, you know, he's a big lad as it is, he's about six foot four. But, you know, he's jumped and he's put his head on it, and the go goalkeeper had no chance at all. You don't see something like that very often, Bez, do you? It's good to see. I'm just interested to see for the next corner Sunderland get, is he going to go up? Because I mean, he's showing them what you know how to do it. It'd be interesting. I would give it a go. Well, the great sign when a goalkeeper goes up for a corner, it means that you're really hungry for it. The fans watch it. They think the keeper's gone up. We're we're after this one. We're hungry for it, and it's nice to see Sunderland hungry for it this season. Not only that as well. It put the team. Everybody's seen that. That's going to be shown all across the country when Sunderland play the next game. Huddersfield, throw him up, liven <laughs> it up. We'll see if he does. Okay, Gary. <laughs> Apart from goal scoring goalkeepers, Gary. Who impressed you? What's the big difference for Sunderland these days? Well, it's sort of change of play, really. You know, um, I think Sunderland fans have been used to obviously being a little bit more direct, obviously putting the ball up to obviously Niall Quinn when he was there, and um, they've got a big man up there now, Kevin Carroll. But we're getting the ball down on the floor now, and we're passing it, and the movement's much better. And as I said, that's 11 goals now we scored in, I think it's the last five games. A couple of I was there moments for all the Sunderland fans who went to Derby on Saturday. Goalkeeper Mark Poon was the hero. And if you haven't seen his goal yet, don't miss it now. This really was one of those amazing moments that make a season. A goal down with two minutes of stoppage time played when Sunderland keeper Mark Poon came up from the back to rescue a point for the Black Hats against former club Derby County. They say that uh, you know, you know, ex-players come back and score goals against you, but you don't expect that from a goalkeeper. And it was a phenomenal header, to be fair. I haven't met anybody who's got a bad word for him. Maybe, maybe one or two of the, the Rams supporters might have just change their opinion after that header. I doubt it, because he's such a lovely guy. I, don't know, I thought I was good in there. I don't think I ever had a run like that. Sunderland had fallen behind a minute from time. Ian Taylor's goal looked to have condemned Nick McCarthy's side to a second consecutive defeat. But cometh the hour, cometh the mart. Poon rose highest from the corner to power home a header that any striker would have been proud of. When he practice pro crosses with other goalkeepers, then like, if, if you're not in goal, then uh, other one or other two, they like, try to put the you know, goalkeeper off or act, act as a striker, but you know, you can't, you can't practice these things, you know, because normally you will never have a chance to go another end, you know, and uh, yeah, it's still unbelievable.